When I originally watched the trailer for Penance, I thought it would be a waste of time. At the beginning of the film, there's some well-written dialogue and genuinely tender mother and daughter moments which set up a good connection with the main character, Amelia, played by Mariah Delfino. I was getting bored with films using handheld cameras, and this is another attempt. The film starts, we have single mother in debt, earning little money and then her friend teaches her how to strip. Penance was just about bearable up until the arrival of the excellent actor Michael Rooker who played Henry in Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer and make sure you watch me talk about that film. Michael's work in Penance is fine in his first scene. It's just unimaginative storytelling Then, when the film steps into the mad world of Nutter in an army uniform, Jeeves, played by the actor Graham McTavish, it crash and burns big time. Graham McTavish has done extensive game voiceover work in UK TV. Unfortunately, his character here is one of the most uninteresting I've seen on screen. He just points his army uniform at people and talks posh. Why didn't they cast Michael Rooker as Jeeves? He's got a strong menacing presence. And alternatively, why didn't they just increase Michael's on-screen time? Two female characters turn up to assist Jeeves. They look like they've been taken directly from a very old James Bond film. They are really bad. The three of them are useless together and you just know the people held captive could easily defend themselves and escape. Penance is like watching two different films edited together. One half is okay and the other half is awful. One of the many examples of unbelievable moments is when a girl is hiding under a table and it's so obvious she will be seen by Michael Rooker's character but She's not seen or heard by anyone. This is really poor work. There's a cameo appearance from the six and a half foot actor Tony Todd who played the scary Candyman. And with Michael Rooker appearing as well, I'm confused why these two respected actors agreed to sign up to such a weak project. A project that should never have been given a green light. As the story rolls downhill into the environment of captivity, the film twists into an irritating dark pantomime. It's a mix of unbelievable scenarios, overacting and bad dialogue. And when they throw in a scene that sort of lets shock the audience with a very nasty surgical operation where the victim is lightly anaesthetized, I then realised my instinct about the original trailer was correct. This film is a waste of time and I switched off before the ending. I couldn't give a toss what happened. Did she survive or not? Whatever. Avoid penance like you would avoid a pensioner driving at 30 miles an hour along the motorway's overtaking lane. Best thing about this film is its title, Penance, because it's a punishment to sit through. (laughs) 